when you're purchasing skincare or cosmetics, foundations, anything like that. The first thing, we're, and we're going to just gonna give you a couple this week. Next week we'll go into another couple. We just don't want to bombard you with too much information. So we'll just give you two today, and next week we'll touch on a couple more, and just the most important ones to look for that we think are the most damaging. All right, so the first one I think you guys should look for in your ingredients is parabens. Ooh. Parabens is used as a preservative in your cosmetics. It, it prevents the growth of bacteria, which is a good thing because these, you know, our cosmetics and stuff sits on the shelves at the stores for who knows how long, and you don't want bacteria, bacteria growing in your cosmetics. So, in essence, it's a good thing. But parabens are found in breast cancer tumors. It is also able to mimic estrogen hormones, which plays an important role in breast cancer development. It also contributes to skin aging and DNA damage. So if you really, I, I, just, it just, I just had this thought today. It's like, why do so many women have breast cancer these days? I mean, you really gotta sit and wonder. I mean, do you ever think about how often you put these skincare items on you daily? Can't I, just be hereditary. No, I don't believe it's hereditary, especially after doing the, some the research I've done in the past couple of days to you know talk about these ingredients. Um, yes, yeah, some of it's hereditary, but I'm starting to really think that we put these you know cosmetics on our skin at least once a day. I know I put things on my skin twice a day because I'm doing it morning and night. You know so. It goes back to, I had mentioned, you know, in a Facebook post a while back saying it only takes 26 seconds for these items to be absorbed into your skin. 26 seconds. That's it. That's it. It's already in your body. You can't do anything about it. So if it takes that short of time to get into your body, why are we not thinking about what we're putting on our skin more? My ingredient is mineral oil. And mineral oil is a agent that locks the moisture onto the skin and not inside. The reason that it's bad is because it acts as a barrier and it traps the skin so it can't breathe. So you'll end up with clogged pores. Mm. <laughs> and then it is found, well it's in the formula they use for perfume for cosmetics. And it can be an allergen. Perfume can be an allergen for your skin. And then... It is used, not really used, but it is found in distillation of gasoline from crude oil, meaning everything that's left in the bottom of the barrel after they make the gasoline is what you're slathering all over your body and face. Oh. And it costs more to get rid of than it does to buy. Right. So that's bad. And it can aid in the failure of your lungs, causing the you're thinking about these cosmetic companies. They're all they're thinking about is money, money, and the, how much it costs to make these products. All right. So next thing up is our shoes of the week. This is the shoe. Arnell brought her very special non-wearing shoes in. <laughs> these are not comfortable. I do not wear these. They're nine ninety nine. I got them from Cargo Largo. They're by Anne Michelle. They got a five inch pump and a platform down here. They're really squishy on the inside. I think maybe if I got them a half size bigger, I'd be able to wear them, but I don't. I just look at them and see how pretty they are. <laughs> They're neutral snake skin with this neon yellow. This stuff goes with everything. So let me see. Yeah, these are pretty squishy, but dang, she literally has not worn these at all. What They're did you think these? Stuff. I got them a couple months ago. Yeah, but I really like that they're the snake skin. They're like neutral. And you got that neon too. So new, neutral, neutral. Neon is really <laughs> big this season. So you can just pair it with a neutral and you can get away with it. Anybody can wear yeah. neon. And Arnell's wearing this lovely neon orange outfit in her tattooed print <laughs> pantalones. Yes, and I got 
got these Lady Gaga shoes that yes. I stole back from my kid Gabrielle's closet. So yeah, I got these from GoJane.com. There's awesome teal color. We really like colors. So. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, they got these cool, I hope you can see them, they got these cool spikes on their back and you just have to be careful when you uh, cross your legs and stuff. They're great if you're throwing your kid at. Yeah, those are your secret weapon. But yeah, Gabrielle really and I got a big old discussion about how these are not her shoes, but my shoes, and how we're supposed to be sharing them or not sharing them. I buy shoes to share. We both wear the same size. I'm not going to buy two of every pair just so she can have her own pair. It's not, not going to happen. Makes so, sense to me. Yeah, so I'm wearing these, and that's it, Gabrielle. Product of the week. We have these four items here. Yes, we got four products here because at the end here we're going to talk about some uh, quick hairstyles to do after you've not washed your hair for a couple days because me and Arnell don't wash her hair very often. I do mine once a week and Arnell's pleading the fifth on when she washes her hair. But you need the oil in your hair mm -hmm. so it protects it. It protects your hair and gives it moisture and the more you wash it the drier it's going to be and the less you can get better hairstyle out of it because it's if it's super quick squeaky clean it's not gonna hold curl it's not gonna hold any hairstyle very well so that's it. Start off. this is the fourth day I haven't washed my hair so this morning I just I sprayed my roots with this dry shampoo and this is a good investment to have so you can don't feel like you're not washing your hair it just it absorbs some of the oil the next thing I use is this powder play by big sexy hair it's just a powder is there any left in <laughs> it's just a white powder and it doesn't show up on your hair at all so it just kind of dissipates once you put it in there and it feels really weird but it's just got a good texture to it and it's going to give you some volume to your hair uh, the next thing I use is the super sexy texturize and distort uh, styling sauce I like the sound of that styling <laughs> sauce <laughs> so yeah I just put a little dime size and it's really sticky stuff and you just kind of get it all in your hands and I just literally I just scrunch it all in my hair so that's how I get all these uh my hair like this kind of wave so and then I use I also use this um oh I got this from Sally's by the way it's beyond the zone I like Sally a lot I got this um from Generation Beauty it was one of those free products it smells awesome but it is a texturizing spray so it kind of does the same thing as this paste but this is like a spray I like to build my products just to get a little more I don't know it just works for me workability yes I, work just, I like different textures in, in my hair and stuff and then I give it a good spray with some volume spray or humidity spray and that's it and I give it a good blow with my blow dryer at the roots just to pump it up a little bit more and then oh, I got this oh. I know you did it Oh, yes, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a lot of You yeah. gotta be able to see this one. Did you guys see what, what was up there last week? I mean, I had to go back and look at it again <laughs> just to make sure. But this one's good too. Are you guys ready? <laughs> back. We kind of had to let her go. <laughs> she got fired. 
We got fired, straight up fired. Um, we interviewed her, thought she was gonna be cool. She said she's been done it before. Then she went up and did the weather, and her excuse was, you what? only live once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was yelling all over the place. I was like, I thought this was the weather. She was like all bumping and stuff. She was having a good old time. Distractions, distractions. <laughs> so we thought maybe we should let some of our viewers be our weather girl or weather guy or whoever wants to do the weather. So send us your 15, 15 second video, 20 seconds max. Um, you can send us salt to cosmetics at gmail.com. Um, just your name and where you're from and show us a little bit of what your weather is like where you're at and a little bit of your personality and we'll put it up on our video. So we can't promise you who's going to show up here in this weather segment, but here it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 